What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another edition of Popcorn and Props. Oh my God, it has been uh, it's been a uh, interesting week. Uh, staying busy over here in the Stinger Swarm world. Uh, hope you guys have had a good week as well, dude. I uh, I need to get out and fly some more. That is what's going on. I didn't go fly today. I ended up staying home. I got. Well, I did get a lot of work done on my resume. Uh, I know that's not as exciting, but it, it's got to get done. It's got to get done. So, <laughs> I hope that you guys have been flying and making videos, because that's what tonight's stream is all about. That th That's right. This is Popcorn and Props. This is where we hang out. You guys submit your FPV videos, and we check them out live here on stream, and just kind of talk shop, talk FPV. Uh, what is going on in the FPV news world? You know, my like go-to source for FPV news is my Facebook feed. I have so much crap that just comes in over that, and I have been staying off of Facebook. So I don't even know what the newest uh, news is. Anybody got some like uh, new gossip in the FPV world, or are there new products? Is DJI making their own flight controller next? What is going on? I don't know, just ideas for the chat. <laughs> but if you, if you guys are new to the stream, the way that this works is that when we start the stream up here in just a couple of minutes over on the, my Discord server, link in the description, uh, on the video submissions uh, thread, you'll see it on the left side of the screen, there is a, it says video submissions, you click there, that's where you're gonna post up the links to your YouTube videos to get featured here on the stream. We uh, we open up the submissions like two times a night, usually one near the beginning of the stream and one at the end. And uh, yeah, well, not at the end, one at whenever we run out of videos. And uh, so we're going to be opening it up in just a few minutes. I'm trying to think if I got any major news updates, but I can't think of anything like... Um, I mean, I got... I have a couple of builds that need to get done. I gotta get motors for them if you're interested in getting a steamy build. But other than that, yeah, nothing. So let's just go, let's do some videos. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up for submissions. What's up, Monkey? I see you hiding over here in the chat now that I'm looking. What up? <laughs> All right. Uh, the video submissions channel is, give it, hang on, wait for it. Open for submissions. Well, you know what? I, I just realized that uh, with the lag in the um, in the stream and uh, what you guys are seeing versus what I'm actually doing here, the video says open for submissions and then like 30 seconds later or more, you guys are able, it's not 30 seconds, like, let's see. Let's hit the table. One. I believe it's about two, four. Three. Oh, it's only like three seconds. Well, shit, then I better close it. We're closed. <laughs> All right, that was kind of a long window, but there's only like 50 people here. How bad could it be? Oh my god, wait. That bad. That's a multiple submission there. Fire. Who is that? Phantom FPV. I see you. Uh, da, 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 da. Wait, Top Gun. Did he add pew pews to his video? That looks kind of cool. Vampire. Hell yeah. Dude, monkey with some more uh, motorcycle chasing. Okay, this is where we left off last week. So first up, we got Waba Waba. No trespassing. Let me uh, have that set up the windows properly. No tree passing. Yeah, no tree passing. And I'm not booyah. Waba Waba. Waba Waba. <laughs> Oh, snap. Okay. If you guys were talking over on Discord, I wasn't hearing you because I had the mix messed up in my headphones. Uh, that's probably why. I yeah. was wondering why you weren't responding. <laughs> <laughs> you said hi, I say hi back. But like, uh, well, it went out to the stream. I just didn't hear it in the headphones. I mean, the stream only get your say hi. <laughs> How you been? Spanish, right? 
I mean, I guess you could. I don't know how many people are gonna rec be able to understand it. I almost said recognize it. I can cuss Guillermo out in Spanish. <laughs> so. Oh man, I cuss enough in English. So I've been trying to, like even Span my, my kids speak English very well. So they, they cuss in English all the time. So mm -hmm. I've been trying to keep it low. Yeah. Chris Quad says it's about a four or five second delay. Yeah, I selected yeah. usually on the uh, the latency, you have like all of these options. I usually select the normal uh, for this, but I decided tonight to go with the ultra low, which is what I do on the 107 streams because it's supposed to be more interactive. And uh, I was kind of curious how that was holding up. Uh, today I was trying WTF. <laughs> That's so confusing. So, oh my god, my brain is hurting. That mirror effect. Yeah, tree orchards are always really cool. There was one uh, that we flew ooh, um, at the Georgia... What do they call that spot? It's like this military training thing down south of Atlanta. Uh, it's an old pecan orchard. Shit was fire. Mm, 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 mm. Pecans taste pretty good. Pecans are delicious. I was so upset that I missed last, last week's stream. Mm. What happened? Where were you? I was busy, grandparents. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Anyways, oh, mm -mm. yeah, what was last week? Oh, last week was like my post birthday stream. It was like the day after my birthday. That's right. The one time that I heard what you were talking about, it was like you got your meal of tacos for free or something. <laughs> I did. <coughs> The, uh, we went out to eat like me, uh, Finky, Steel. Who else was there? Was you, you went out Schizo? for tacos? Yeah, we went for tacos after flying <laughs> last Sunday. And uh, the power went out at the restaurant. And uh, so they weren't able to run anybody's cards. So they just gave all of the food away to everybody that was eating. It was a pretty good deal. That is great. Yeah, I felt bad because I would have liked to have left a tip at least for the server, but I had literally no cash. I don't know. What are you supposed to do? All right. Next time. Mm -hmm. Look, I turned autoplay off, guys. Can you believe it? <laughs> uh, what's next? Uh, that's what I'm looking for. Monkey FPV is next. The What is this? Mexican Nationals? Is that what that is? That's no, motocross. Motocross. That's what the MX is for. That's racist. <laughs> I'm still editing that video, but it's a little bit long. I have to make it. Wait, hang on. I know this song. Like, I learned this song on guitar at one point in time. What is this, Offspring? Offspring, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. I would have remembered it now, right this second, but I was like, I couldn't put my finger on who it was for a minute. Oh my god. The Sony is out again. Bro. Rest in pepperoni. It only does that for uh, the popcorn and props. It doesn't ever do that on the 107 stream. It must be something to do with, like, that is true. running a bunch of uh, browser videos. Dang, monkey, those lines are clean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so 
some of them look they look behind them because they thought uh, uh the other guy was getting close to his mic. Your quad? <laughs> it was my quad, yeah. I talked to the guy that, that won. I got uh -huh. this play. He told me he kept looking because he knew that he got at least 10 seconds of the second guy. That's the guy that won, the number five. Yeah. He, but but he felt that he had it behind him, like at some turn. <laughs> he kept looking until he saw the drone. That was the first. Lap. They're going to they're gonna make you keep coming back because they're pushing him to go faster. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me he was he, he, a couple of times he just like floored it because he had, he he thought he had somebody behind him. <laughs> that probably helped him win, shit. Otherwise, the other guy might have been more competitive. Yeah, maybe. This guy had already, this guy is eight times national champion, like two times Latin American champion. Wow. There's one turn that he floored it and I went through the rocks like you can literally see I go through the <laughs> This is with my Stingy V2. Dang! Stingy V2 repping. Dividing by zero seems like it was, uh, what, the hip thing for people not to like Offspring? I don't know when that was. I mean, I, I, Offspring came out when I was in high school, and, like, there was a part of me that, I think it was before high school even. Like, you didn't want to be that mainstream, because I was a little bit more of a metalhead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. But I don't care anymore. I got over all that crap in my 20s. That elitist BS. <laughs> you need to get some shots with the rear mount of GoPro and go in front of yeah. him. Yeah. And especially because there are some times that I got between the between the two of them yeah dude you know what i might i need to post a uh, a link to this the um the um when me and steel went and chased drift cars uh, a couple months ago it was on like instagram stories and whatnot i uh they just put out the after event video for that it's i mean it's 30 minutes long we're not gonna watch it here on the stream but uh like maybe a, a part of it because that that edit is just so fire i already watched it like twice once by myself and then once i, I made uh my mic watch it with me <laughs> all right uh let's see here we go there we got up next is deceit fpv night light freestyle I can't get my gold for two weeks for a quick night. Dang, I'm digging this track. I don't know who this is, but it's it's uh, kind of fun. Yeah, if I, Offspring came out in '93, then that would have been middle school for me for sure. Yeah, I was like, Guillermo said, somebody Shazam this track, and I was about to pull my phone out to do it, and then I realized it's in the headphones. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> Turn the headphones up. <laughs> Wait, let's see if I can get it to work. Oh shit, it did work. That's Koto, Close Z. But that ain't uh, Shazam. Shazam would have never picked that up. That's uh, Soundhound. 
It's much more better. Sound hound. I think you will be the one on the top right. Yeah, no, top left. <laughs> Why would you do such a thing? Because I, I conformal coded it in corrosion and use corrosion next, and I wanted to. It's almost rainy season here, so I want to have a flat action to get wet. Gotcha. So I, put a, so I put a bunch of cameras around the pool and on the bottom of the pool. And it's <laughs> Dang, Fly Dragon! That is awesome. I got. I was like, wait a minute, two thousand. And then I realized that's not dollars. <laughs> what half? A half it? Half in dollars? I have no idea what half that's is. That's a Hungarian dollar. <laughs> awesome! Thank you so much for that. Big props. Cheers. Ching. <laughs> Vampire says it's like $1. No, it's $6 with 68 cents. Dang, y'all were already over there on that Google uh, yeah. <laughs> to find out how much it was. <laughs> what, you think we have a life? <laughs> mm. We're not doing much. We? <laughs> That's funny. Just popcorning and propping. Mm, 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 mm. I ain't got no uh, popcorn. I need to one night actually have pop. Look, popcorn and props right there on the stream. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only popcorn you had. Yeah, and it wasn't even mine. Popcorn. That was actually uh, my roommate's popcorn. It wasn't even my popcorn. <laughs> How's Mike? Mike's doing good. He, he went and flew today. Him and Tidwell went to a park nearby. Uh, Racing the Sun, FPV Tiny Hawk Freestyle from Nighthawk. It's DVR, don't hate. Oh, we're oh, going to hate. hate right now. <laughs> Better be DGI, DVR. <laughs> you kidding me? I don't yeah. got that kind of money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I if you can't put a GoPro on that Tiny Hawk, then you're not welcome back here. <laughs> 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 It'll just be a, a like 10 second video of the GoPro sitting on the ground and you just hear the props go and it never goes anywhere. <laughs> Stingy, don't you dare because you know I will. <laughs> uh, no, there's no way a Tiny Hawk will carry a GoPro. I don't think it would even, it would be hard pressed to even carry uh, like decased de-batteried everything GoPro. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'll go get some duct tape and zip yeah, ties I'm real quick. I have a Caddx. I have basically what you're talking about there, uh, Marcel. Right, cha. That is the uh, Mobile 7 HD with the Caddx turtle in it. And uh, this thing freaking rips. Although I just don't fly it often enough. <laughs> you know what? One day we should. Uh, I should do like a live rip on popcorn and props. Hands down, yes. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fly that thing more often in the house because right now the sun's down, so there's no flying outside. It's too damn dark. Uh, I would have to do it in the house, but there's some pretty cool features in here. I don't even have packs charged right now for it though. This is a pretty cool spot. I want to see you hit that gap though between the roofs. Fly in and split us down. It was my first time flying there, so I was like really not wanting to do that. That's no excuse. But, 
first pack 30 seconds in send it <laughs> true don't, i'm just okay so here. basically let's see you want a gopro and you want me to hit that gap don't worry i'll get there I'll it's, it's got to be but you got to do it on the tiny hawk with the gopro through the gap oh my goodness <laughs> you're gonna like just take it and chuck it at the gap <laughs> 10 out of 10 uh, swift fox you did miss the first submission window but uh we're gonna have another one and it's probably not gonna be that late we only had a few uh we didn't have a huge crowd at the beginning of the stream so uh yeah i'll take a look here in a minute Wait, does Steel have a toothpick? I don't think he does, does he? I haven't seen him I fly any. I don't think any... so. If he did, I would definitely know about it. Yeah, I haven't seen him fly any micros. Mm -hmm. I've been waiting for him to come out with like a micro something, but he has. <laughs> One minute ripper. You know what, though? I will. Wait, can I? Fuck it. I'm saying it because I got it outside of private channels. Uh, the. Uh... too much. <laughs> I heard from somebody else that they are getting a Tango 2 here very shortly, which tells me that we're probably really close to the official rip, uh, release. Which, speaking of which, I need to hit up Traffy to find out, because if they're going to be releasing it, like, soon, then I need to get a video ready to drop. No, but I, I also want the updated one because there's a couple features that mine doesn't have that uh, I told him that and he's like, you basically have it. And I'm like, no, I want that. I want all the features. <laughs> Eminem is just so damn good. It's not fair. Him and um, what's it? Uh, um, Bobby. Uh, I'm drawing a freaking blank. No logic. Uh, yeah. What up, Cement Kid? Thank you for that five dollar uh, donation. What is doing is popcorn and props and beer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got uh, Chris Quad up next, flying with trees, dirt, and FPV. Wait, I moved too fast. An FPV drone dance amongst the trees. Boom, 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 boom. Wait, why didn't I go full screen? There we go. Hmm. Chris Quad, where is this? I'm guessing this is either California or Australia from the trees. <laughs> Vampire, freaking hater. Australia, nailed it. <clears throat> <laughs> it's funny that uh, I've been doing FPV long enough that I'm getting to where I recognize the foliage from different continents. <laughs> oh, super deluxe. Yeah, well, I don't really care what Trump says about me either. <laughs> but thank you for the... Uh... <laughs> Thank you for the uh, super chat, though. Fist bump. <clears throat> props and no props. <laughs> oh, that just feels harsh. Yeah, I need uh, I need to get this whole sponsorship uh, with the giveaways lined up so that uh, I've got something above and beyond just being like, oh, I subbed you. Because uh, there's too many good videos. I should be throwing the subs out more readily. And be more uh, reserved with the giveaway items. <laughs> yeah, video submission is in Discord at the uh, video submission. Uh, what do you call it? It's not a thread? A chat room? Uh, I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Let 
Mr. Gauss, I'd appreciate a stingy sub. I mean, who wouldn't appreciate a stingy sub? <laughs> You gotta, but that's the whole thing is I gotta make them rare. Otherwise, it's not a valued thing. If I like just sub everybody, then uh, it doesn't feel special. You gotta make it feel special. Mm hmm. Uh, the name for the stream actually came from the quad camp uh, days, the quad camp online. I had it. Uh, as a uh, basically people suggested stream names and um, that was the that was my favorite of the suggested names let's put it that way all right who's up next we got uh, outer limit top gun of, or wait of all things I think it's actually of all things tube is the channel name yeah, of all things tube, Top Gun, Mission, Destroy, Enemy Drone. <laughs> All right, I'll, I dig it. This is cute. I'm hoping that we get a midair. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, Rotor Riot Corridor Digital uh, team up with the uh, Star Wars theme. <laughs> you keep these streams up after stingy right i do to a certain extent i've had uh one of them got blocked by youtube uh and i'm not saying that it won't ever happen again it's just if people include material that youtube will block that ends up happening uh, that makes sense yeah they all end up getting demonetized because there's like the offspring and all these different bands that get used, which, you know, that's fine. Oh man, I hope there's a payoff. Come on, give me a midair. <laughs> I'm like searching. Is there a payoff? I don't think there is. Oh wait, do we have a crash? <laughs> that up there. I, I didn't even see. Is it? Does the guy in front crash? No. <laughs> oh come on! You gotta give me a. I like it's it's an interesting concept, but I wanted crashes. I wanted carnage. If we're gonna have a hunt down the drone, you gotta like destroy it. Come on, man. <laughs> Stingy the hater tonight. Uh, big oily guy, swag team. All right. What you got for me, big oily guy? By the way, I just ordered a GoPro mount for my tiny hawk. <laughs> I was thinking for a second that it looked a little bit like that uh, Sharpu Bando where he took the, um, uh, what was the YouTube channel where he built a drone for him, but that's not, that's not it. I want to fly that spot now though. Uh, okay, I'm like hearing stuff outside of the headphones and I'm, 
What the hell? Oh, it's the neighbors dragging their trash can to the street. Speaking of which, I got to do that tonight. <laughs> Dude, this is a sick spot. I want to fly this bando. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Awesome cement. Yeah, I'm glad to hear you're having a good time with that little two incher. Dude, these old school jams. What's that? What'd you say, Renegade? You skipped Renegade FPV's video. Uh, are we sure that I skipped it? Because sometimes the order is not the same on everybody's thread. I will make sure that I haven't skipped it, though. I'm digging the old school jam though. It makes me like want to listen to go listen to some Tone Loke. Dude, that guy has so many LEDs. How do you keep all of those LEDs working flying spots like this? Ooh. And we're on the roof. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, I couldn't live without Pearl Moon. How could we before? I don't know. I would have definitely lost a quad the other day on that uh, window yeah. ledge. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, big oily guy. You're right. I did skip Renegade. Inverted roll and yaw. Office park rip with some... With some, with some stick cam. Mm -mm. <laughs> yes, that funky Cole Medina. <laughs> Booster FPV, the way to submit videos is over on the Discord server. There is a link in the description below. And uh, when you get over to Discord, there is a uh, there's a um, uh, thread for video submissions. But it's not open for submissions. I only open it up for a small window of time at the beginning of the stream and when we first run out of videos. So uh, it'll be open in uh, a... Uh, I don't know, at some point tonight. So just kind of stay tuned and maybe go find your way there, get your video clip uh, YouTube link copied and ready to paste later. Thanks, Amp Hibiscus. <laughs> Sir Mix-a-Lot, yeah. I mean, if you're going to be stuck with two CDs uh, divided by zero, those aren't a bad two to be stuck with. All right. 
right, nice fly in there, Renegade. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait, what do we got at the end here? Do you do a little dance? <laughs> that sink clap life. All right. We already got this one. All right. We got one, two, three, four, five. Only five more videos, guys, before we open it up again. So get your links ready. Oh, we got some Johnny FPV esque uh, beachside rippage. Mm. Oh. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> what up, <st> Stu? <laughs> mm, might need some new motors, too. Them oscillations are getting serious. <laughs> Dude, the uh man, getting stuck in the very apex of a palm tree is the worst. Just ask Tommy. He can confirm. It's like almost impossible to get out of those things. Yeah, I can't confirm it too. I have <laughs> palm trees outside my house I get stuck on them. Mm-hmm. I have to use the phantom because they, they the props get all the they get tied up with all the Yeah, Funk, I need to make a new edit. I agree. I, I don't know, man. I'm just having a hard time getting motivated with it. Like, I've got some footage from when... I still haven't put out the stuff from when you were in town, Monkey. Like, that's the most recent thing that I've tried to work on. But I just look at footage, and I'm just like, Ugh, I'm not stoked. I don't know what to do to fix it. Got a rip more. Yeah, I well, I fly plenty. It's not the flying that's the problem. It's the, uh, I don't know. I need to come up with an idea, something creative, something new to try. Uh, what do we got next? We got Phantom FPV Fire. More 90s jams. Yep. <laughs> I, I know this song, but I can't think of who this is. Anybody? What's that? Your app? Yeah, that's what I'm about to do. Oh no, I'm covering up his stick cam. Nice 
What up, boys? Can you hear me now? Oh, yeah, we can hear you now. That is not right. Fire hose, brave captain. And that's straight 80s. That was 86. Yeah, 80s. That's fire hose. Mm, 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 mm. I'd really like to run a survey and see what the average age of an FPV -er is. I can tell you based off of my YouTube analytics. <laughs> the average is probably somewhere in their uh, 30s. Really? That's interesting. Yeah. There's not... I get way... Like a big spike, 30, 40, 60s. Like 20s is not bad. Teens is uh, almost non-existent. And then it what? starts what? What? starts falling off again around the 50s. Dumb millennials. Yeah. Around, thir around 30, you have enough money to buy your shit. That's what it is. It's all about yeah. uh, the income and everything. Mm -hmm. And you're not so busy, like, chasing tail every weekend and <laughs> getting settled down. Chasing tail. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Ooh, squirrel. All right, before the storm from what is real. I don't know what's real. <laughs> You're it's stream. Not right. mm -mm. Dude, you guys don't know about pricey props. Like, you should have been trying this back in the HQ glass nylon prop days when it was like $4 for two props. And uh, and they broke every time you looked at them wrong. Like, I had... And, and you had to balance the hell out of them, too. I had... I Well, the, the HQ props, I didn't have to balance. That was like just after the balancing ended, I think. But the... Uh, I, I seriously would spend two, three hundred dollars a month on props. It was absurd. I they, they, you know, we thought they flew really good, and they did fly better than everything else on the market. But I have gone back and since tried to fly them again. It's not. It's not. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's especially because we're like tuning and uh, like firmware developers are like working on their products with polycarbonate now. Yeah, I don't miss I don't miss the glass nylon days. No, that, that God no. A, that was a dark dark time. I agree. What's the weight difference between those? Not enough for it to matter. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, and up in Minnesota where it's like super cold, if you even just throttled like to max, they just break off the hub. I've got sets. I could go and grab a set of uh, glass nylon and uh, measure them up against S3s and S4s, etc. I have a bunch of glass nylons here. Like two bags of left and two bags of right. I have so many props that I will never fly. Yeah. I, I don't even know what to I do give, with them. I give them away. I give them away. I've given away so many, but I have so many that are also like just weird experiments that HQ did that didn't sell well, like the shark tooth props or some other stuff. You try to give those away and people are like, what is this crap? No. <laughs> like I've, I've given away most of the stuff that anybody will fly, like the uh, frame it, the four blades and stuff like that. Did you say racecraft? The racecraft props. Do you remember that? <laughs> I do remember racecraft. Um, uh, what was dude's name? The, uh, uh, I can picture him, but I can't think of his name. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
That feels bad. He was a good dude. A lot of fun. Yeah. Helps so me I up with some them out and cool opportunities too. All right, we're skipping your second fire. <laughs> uh, we got Marcel Robert first pack raw nine eleven nineteen. Just two more videos and then we are opening it up for submissions again. <laughs> Mm, got some Mobula 7 action. <laughs> yes, Racecraft did have the jelly bean themed uh, packaging along with like, it was like jelly bean uh, pilot faces. I still got some that I've been ripping here and there. They're, they're not bad props. They just fit we. No, they weren't bad. I still I have some laying around as well. Bummer. His his YouTube cut the music. Dude, those RSSI numbers are awfully low. I guess I'm just used to crossfire. Mm. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Sing along. Jesus. No. <laughs> yeah, crossfires developed like a weird habit for me where if it like drops below eighty percent, I like start sweating. <laughs> oh well, with micros, it's not a good day if you don't go below fifteen. <laughs> i said i said the ooh piece of candy and that got me thinking i i was god i went on a deep dive of funny gaming videos like uh first person shooter videos and i don't know if you've ever seen this this one youtuber erasable ninja oh my god he makes the funniest uh video game videos he uh like trolling people on PUBG, dropping like one bullet one bullet one bullet leading them up to the roof of a house with just a sp huge spread of like all sorts of like guns and health and all this stuff and people are like what is this it's a trap and they start like looking around and he'll be like hiding somewhere oh god it's hilarious watching the people like freak out on the rooftop but the edits are yeah. pretty funny too that video you posted the other day was friggin' <laughs> hysterical. <laughs> yeah, the high ping versus low ping. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I wish there were more videos like that. Uh, I, I think that I just came across that one on my like suggested things on YouTube, and uh, I went looking for more funny videos, and there's there's not anything else out there that funny. At least not that I've found yet. No, like that funny shit kind of dropped off. Like after Machinima kind of took a dive, everybody just stopped doing it. Really? Did but you ever watch uh, Red versus Blue? Yeah, I, I liked uh, Arby and the Chief. I liked that series way better than uh, Red versus Blue, but it was kind of the same. Yeah, Red versus Blue was okay. It was never that great, but it was always like, I don't know, back in the uh, the days when I played a ton of Halo. Uh, I enjoyed it. So you got to remember uh, Arby and the Chief then, or Master Chief sucks at Halo. I'm not sure that I do. <laughs> that was a little risky. <laughs> All right, who's next? Uh, long range FPV adventures. Uh, that drove... dude used 15,000 milliamp hours on his Mobula <laughs> 7. How? <laughs> Drone flight over Lake Tahoe from Ya Boy. Wait, is it Ya Boyd? Ya Boyd. <laughs>
Welcome back to Stingy shuffling around his house. <laughs> I mean, I gotta get, I need to get like a little mini fridge to set right here so that I don't have to go anywhere to grab another beer or just a cooler. What are you, uh, what are you drinking on the night, Stingy? I am drinking the Recreation L, a session IPA from Terrapin. I gotta, I gotta ship you down a four pack of this stuff that I've been drinking. It's so good. What it's is a it? Hoppy, Hoppy Pale Ale. It's uh, uh, was it Winter Hill Brewing Company? It's right down the street from my work. It's so good, but it's dangerous. It's like six percent or seven percent on. Yeah, I drink a lot of double IPAs and like things that are like six to nine percent. Uh, and I love them, but so I have drank them on the stream, and it usually goes downhill really fast uh, because yeah, it's a lot. The um, I uh, I like session IPAs because I can just sit here and you know drink them almost like a light beer. The uh, my current favorite beer, if you want to know, I know nobody asked, is uh, Boss Tweed. It's a uh, it's a unfiltered double IPA. It is like the smoothest, sweet. Oh my god, it is so effing good. Uh, but it's also like, it's not cheap. It's like eighteen bucks for a four pack. Oh holy shit! I was gonna say we'll 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 do like a beer of the month. I'll send you beer <laughs> from up here, and, and but not at eighteen bucks for a four. <laughs> I would totally go to Baltimore to rip. Uh, I was talking to um, Cricket about coming up there and hanging out sometime. Mm. Oh, I'm up in Boston. I'm mm -hmm. not in Baltimore. No, but I, I know, but somebody down to Baltimore. Somebody asked Booster FPV asked if I would ever go to Baltimore to rip. Yeah, I agree. Oh. the uh, the The mountains are beautiful. That is uh, the Lake Tahoe area. All right, you know what? I lied. We're not going to open it up to submissions just yet. I want to show you guys something. Uh, let's go here. Grid life. Uh, What's your keyboard? Uh, it's a K95. Slick. Yeah, this is it. Got a truck? Get decked. Get organized. Get to work or get out of town. Organize your... Dude, this edit is so fire. It's 30 minutes long, so we're not going to sit here and watch the whole thing. But, like, this was the uh, Grid Life event me and Steel went and flew it for. And, uh, like, they've got way more stuff. Like, this is a, a car with a gimbal off the back. Uh, they got, like, ton a couple dozen camera guys working the event. So, like, every angle is covered in this edit. Like, I'm super jealous of the amount of footage that they had to work with. We'll just watch the intro segment. A festive air pervades the entire area. In Atlanta, the crowds arrive early in the morning to prepare themselves. I would hate life if I was the only one editing all that stuff. <laughs> just uh, knowing that, like, even having the footage from a day from last weekend, it was daunting. Like, what the hell do I do with yeah, I I agree. Some of the stuff in this, like the way that he makes all of the transitions work, I'm just like, that is so much work. Like, you got to go through and you have to use a labeling system and like label stuff and know that like, okay, I want this type of uh, cut here and uh, just jumping back and forth from all of that. Because otherwise, ugh. Was that a wide body Lambo? No shit. Yeah, lots of cool car stuff in this video. So if you're into FPV and you're into cars, like just go watch this because it's it's basically like a 30 minute long version of what I try to make with my uh, YouTube channel. Like the production value is so fucking fire on this video too. The amount of shots that are flying by right now yeah. Just the editing time for every single one of those, I'm astonished. This guy has all the bins. <laughs> <laughs> 
I probably should have picked a better segment that's got more FPV cuts. I think they got a lot more FPV later on in the video, but there's definitely a few thrown in here. There you go. <laughs> How old is this? Uh, it just came out two days ago. Like they just posted it. Yeah, I'll definitely be watching this going to bed tonight. Can yeah. Be oh, all right. We're not going to watch all of their ads. Oh, come on. It's fun. <laughs> Anyways, you guys want to submit some more videos and it is that time. So I am going to open it up for your submissions. We're here to show off your videos, not stuff I've done anyways. Uh, where are we at? There we go. And submissions are open. Meow. Dang, look at that fly. All right. I just had to go and look. That makes it last so much longer. All right, we're closed. <laughs> okay. How many do we get? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, 24 videos. There are a lot of submissions. Holy cow. Corey Guy, the, the submission... Oh, wait. Where is that video that I just showed you guys? That video is over... If you just search uh, YouTube, like, that's all I did was go up here and search Grid Life. Boom. It's the first one. Grid Life South Festival 2019 after movie 4K from Crispy Media. And uh, that's it. Quispy. Mm -hmm. Wait, where am I at? There we go. Okay, first up, we got Snap F... Dude, I don't think it would be a popcorn and props if we didn't have a submission from Snap FPV. Thank you, bro, for being so consistent. Oh, wait. I totally didn't show you guys the, what I was searching because I had it on the wrong screen. But I just searched Grid Life, and there it is. Standing on the highway with my thumb now. Right, Everybody's passing, but you slow down. And I broke it. No, I didn't. We're good. Standing on the highway with my thumb now. Everybody's passing, but you slowed down. And my heart is telling me to turn around. But my body. Booster, I gave you like. I told you where to go to find it. I told you to get ready to copy. <laughs> I gave you a two video warning. I give you another warning when I went to watch a video. I mean, I don't know how many more warnings I can give you, bro. You were talking about low RSSI before. This man's got zero. <laughs> <laughs> Fair. Lowest of them all. What happened, uh, Snap? Did you kill your GoPro? Ah. Uh, well, Booster just sent it to me on like a private message, and I will do my best to remember to pull it up at the end. Am I doing all of the submissions this stream? Yes, we're going to get through them all. I've only once ever not made it through them all. And uh, that was because it was... I forget why I had to get off the stream that night. But I had... Uh, yeah. I've only once ever not made it through all of them. That was a funny night. Yeah, but I feel like we did keep the stream going till like almost 11 o'clock that night still. Yeah, and then we tried to run some fucking Call of Duty after and that was just not happening. I think that my computer will do, it does Call of Duty fine now, but it just will not do Call of Duty and Discord. 
I don't know what you run in. Something else. Yeah, I don't know why that is. It's a, uh, uh, I, the RX 570 uh, video card. I forget. It's some AMD processor. Uh, I want to say Ryzen 3, but I feel like that is uh, not right. It no, it is. You got a you got a Ryzen 3. Is that right? I remember okay. we were talking about your specs. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Up next, we got ASIC drone. It's like candy. Dude, those colors are looking like candy. Boom. Hmm. I think that's what I'm missing. I need like a dope intro or something for the beginning, <laughs> but I suck after it. <laughs> I've thought about making an intro before, but I just, it seems like too much work. Lazy it FPV is. over here. <laughs> it's the proper way to do it. Uh, you should have permission to view the history. That shouldn't be a thing, but you shouldn't have permission to post. Because we lock it down. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Dang, that looks risky. That looks like a no recovery situation. You sound like you're a mile away from your mic. Yeah, I couldn't hardly hear you. Oh, okay. I was saying I did a band like this from outside yesterday. You know, it's funny, Monkey, that you say that because I don't run turtle mode on anything and I fly all the spots that are like not getting it back. Why would you not run turtle mode? I don't yeah. know. I've been talking about lazy FPV. Well, there you go. <laughs> yeah. I don't fly turtle mode at all either. Yo, Stinger Swarm. What up? Um, I got a part 107 question here. Hit me up. What you got? Okay, here it is. Uh, indicate what will be the VHF aeronautical radio frequency to be used in an aerodrome traffic zone. I put the frequency of Unicom or 123.2 megahertz. What are the options? One moment. Is there a graphic? Does it tell you where you're flying? Is there any information? My options are the emergency frequency, 1 to 1.5 megahertz, the frequency of Unicom, or 1 to 3.2 megahertz, the frequency of the control tower, the frequency 1 to 6.7 megahertz. Where is it saying that you're operating? To be used in an aerodrome traffic zone. ATF. That, where did you come across this question? Uh, this is actually a Canadian drone exam. I don't know if it might vary a little bit different oh, between okay. the two uh, regions, but I thought it might be similar since planes fly across the border. A lot of the stuff is similar. The Unicom is similar. The uh, we have Unicom, we have CTAF, but it, it, on the U.S. test, they're gonna. It would be giving you a location, not just uh, that. And you'd have to be looking at a chart to figure out what those frequencies are. Uh, so, I don't know. I'm kind of a little bit baffled. I feel like I don't have enough information, and I'm glad to hear that it's not a U.S. question. <laughs> 
Okay, no worries, man. I think I've seen it in your stream where you were showing the airport uh, readings and the C, C uh, where it shows the frequency that that tower uses. Yeah. Uh, that I definitely go over like the airport operations and the frequencies and talk about the uh, CTAF and everything. But the uh, that question, I feel like without... In the U.S., they would be saying... It, if you're operating here and you have to go look at the chart and find the appropriate frequency uh, and the drone, what, whatever you said, the area of operations or whatever, that's like not a term in the U S uh, I don't know what that is okay. about uh, whatsoever. So um, yeah, it's why it's kind of throwing me off. Okay. No worries, man. Sorry. Okay. That's what's wrong. You're, you're not alone. That kind of, through through me for a loop too i was trying to make sense of it I'm like what the hell is that? all right i accidentally turned off red read message history on the uh thread so you guys should be able to see all the videos now my bad all right old gravy leg is up next what you got for me is this your philly experience that philly vlog yeah, it's just a fly it's just a blind i time stamped it thank you very much that is much appreciated. I mean, if you want, you can watch all seven. <laughs> that was a blast, though. That People need to go check this video out. I had such a good time. That's awesome. You know, uh, Jason, I have considered um, the uh, doing full-scale flight instruction again. Are you in the Atlanta area? Cause I've had somebody else ask if I've got like a two or three guys that are interested, then I might try to coordinate with the flight school and get access to a plane. I'm sure that I could work it out. I'll pay for that. I'll definitely come down. Well, I mean, it would be an ongoing thing. It's not the sort of thing you could come down for a window. I mean, you could, but that would be uh, intense and expensive. To knock it out in like a month that's my plan now is to just go there's a school in florida that does it all in all in one rip because mm -hmm. my 61 so but if you're going to be doing it then what the hell i i know you i don't know that guy true uh that is old gravy leg talking right now kevin cortez uh, we're over on my Discord server chatting it up. <laughs> that does sound like a good idea. <laughs> it's a me, Mario. Woo! -hoo! <laughs> that tree came in hot. The stream is behind. You guys will see what I mean in a minute. <laughs> Yeah, that was it, it, like I've been trying to fly different than I normally do, and then all of a sudden there was a tree in front of me. <laughs> like, oh, all right, right on. Like I went from 10 degrees to back up to 50 degrees up tilt, and uh, I doubled my rates. I went from 400 to 800. So, nice. This is my first time flying with all that. High rates for the win. I used to run super high rates with no expo, and I just looked like a jittery pile of shit, so I just didn't do that for a long time. <laughs> and now I'm, uh, now I'm back to, so I found like a good medium, I think. I keep with high rates. But you don't need that much. I mean, I run like 0.14 expo and all three axes, and it's fine. Upgrading to uh, Crossfire definitely helps manage that. I just wanted to be smooth, and that, that was really uh, what I was lacking at the point that I uh, decided I was going to do this. And uh, now I've gotten more smooth, so I'm like, well, screw it. Now I can roll faster and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... Uh... For me, I have to, 
I like the 900 degrees per second. That's what I'm using on max deflection these days. And uh, I have just a ton of expo, so I'm real smooth in the center. It's exactly what I'm doing. I'm running like 0.4 across the board for expo, so it's doughy as hell in the middle. All right, it's the end. I'm fucking. So I just invested, I like I mentioned before, earlier, but it's I like just invested in the crossfire so market CX week about, we got about a week ago. And one thing I have Thank noticed after flying it uh, nice. this weekend and also is as well. that but dude, I'm not fucking, making yeah. as many oh, like overcorrections around no as I did like, You're never gonna come on the Jumper T16 running their multi-protocol module. And I think it's that the the reduced latency of the crossfire system. I don't have to compensate for overshooting because it's doing exactly what my fingers are doing so that makes sense fire. i can totally see that we got formula fpv florida freestyle and i got a question on the chat uh from i saw it just a second ago uh, Saul FPV uh, asked, wait for the Tango 2 or get a Futaba 16 SZ. Those are two very different radios. So a Futaba is uh, expensive, uh, very high build quality, like nice feel. Uh, I, I feel like that's kind of a waste on me personally. Uh, I'm not a fancy radio kind of guy and it's a full size radio. Whereas the Tango 2 uh, is a more compact system. So if you're looking for something more compact um, and, uh, you know, a minimal, I, I can't say a whole lot, then uh, I would definitely wait on the Tango 2. And the Tango 2 is going to be... It, I can't say a whole lot. They're just very different radios. So if you want a full-size, high-end, expensive radio, then the Futaba is for you. If you were telling me between the uh, jumper and that, then I would say that they're pretty much on par build quality and everything wise. Um, but yeah, I personally would wait for the Tango too. That's my thing. All right. If you like the, uh, the Futaba radio, the jumper t shell is just a, it's basically a copy of a Futaba shell. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. one. The ergonomics are very, very good, and you know, I can buy a, buy the jumper radio with the upgraded halls and gimbals, and the multi protocol module is now built into the radio instead of being an extra module. So you can basically bind to anything. I think the jumper T16 does uh, bind to Tama radios, radios that don't put me on that. Um, but you can also now stuff a crossfire to it and pretty much run everything except for FR Sky R9. So if you're leaning towards Tava, I highly recommend looking at the Jumper T16. I would agree. Um, I, I was looking seriously at the Jumper T16 uh, before they sent me the, uh, before I saw about the Tango 2. The Tango 2 is just more in line with what I want out of a radio uh, versus the Tango, the uh, Jumper. I don't know. I may end up grabbing a, uh, a Jumper as well um, because I, while I have like radios and a uh, multi-protocol module just so that I can do different, uh, test different platforms and stuff, it would be nice to have it built into a radio. I have another question. Okay, go for it been really struggling with this one trying to understand it on wikipedia behind the wing the relative airflow undergoes blank and blank what are the possible options for answers an upward deflection and acceleration a downward deflection a slow down a downward deflection and acceleration an upward deflection a slow down. it's a downward deflection and an acceleration the reason is because for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction, and the lift generated by the wing uh, has to accelerate the air, and it accelerates it downward uh, relative to the lift that you're generating. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -mm 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 -mm. On the subject of I'm Hall smart. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. On the subject of Hall Gimbals. 
<laughs> On the subject of Hall Gimbals, I just tried Hall Gimbals the other day for the first time. I can never switch back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I I agree. The um on the upgrade for the hall sensor gimbals. I will say, uh, I don't. Okay, I can't speak for the jumper because I don't know what they're doing, but uh, exactly which kind of uh, hall effect sensors it has. But the what is in the Tango. There's some special sauce in the Hall uh, Effect Sensor Gimbals that gives it even better performance than like your Hall Effect Sensors in a Tyrannus. My camera is driving me nuts. Why is there not a fix for this? Oh my God. It's like every 10 seconds I'm having to uh, click it and reset it. God. <laughs> Anyways. Rant over. Nighthawk FPV got us another one. Sure did. Uh, Tiny Hawk flight with the boys. I thought I, there's no GoPro. What the hell, man? What did I tell you? <laughs> what you think? You think I had like two minutes to do this? <laughs> uh, uh, Ethan, I have uh, done a video on getting the nighttime waiver. Um, that is. That video, however, is behind the paywall of my Patreon. If you want to get access to uh, me walking you through exactly how to get your nighttime waiver, including the exact text that I used for my nighttime waiver, uh, and um, that you can use and tweak as necessary to get your own nighttime waiver, uh, you can do that by signing up through Patreon for my Part 107 course, and you'll get access to uh, all of that not only the stream where I walk you through the process, but also uh, the text for copy and paste purposes. Nope. By coming into contact with the ground, the air breaks into a series of eddies, a phenomenon called ground effect. I like or a graphic bad. lift mechanical turbulence convergence or convect uh okay if it's see that's like a confusing question you have ground effect which is going to be like a bubble that that all breaking up but the fact that the deflected air is going into a bunch of eddies that could be considered mechanical turbulence whenever air hits an object and it gets starts mixing up that's known as mechanical turbulence so that's what i would go with out of those possible options. Okay. There was two there that were really close when I Googled the meaning of them, but I did go with mechanical tribute. Mm-hmm. Cool, Are thanks. Are you taking the test right now? <laughs> <laughs> that would be a great idea, having Stinger here to help answer all the questions, <laughs> but I'm just reviewing what I had asked. They got to have you test in a center where they're watching you. There's no way you could do it. <laughs> I mean, in the U.S., you can't. Oh, so, you have to yeah, go they, in person, eh? Uh-huh. Yeah, they made me take my fucking belt off, and I couldn't even bring in, like, my <laughs> soda. It was like they were that serious about me not cheating. Aaron R.C. Dude, my pants smooth. are falling down. I need my belt. <laughs> Wait, why couldn't you take your belt? Is it a smart belt? <laughs> no, because you can have, like, you can write on the inside of your belt. I'm That's not dumb. Ruin my belt like that. It's the inside, not the outside. It's I'm not still like not gonna ruin like my belt like that. Rules and regulations belt. That's actually not a bad idea. <laughs> oh, rules and regs. <laughs> you got new merch. Wait, what new merch? Regulations belt. <laughs> I know, right? I feel like that whole belt thing is just a weird, like you got a weird uh, proctor. Stingy's 107 belt edition. Cause like, like they, they wouldn't even let me bring in. I had a roll of Mentos. They wouldn't let me bring those in either. I'm like, what if my mouth gets dry? No. That that is a thing. They're they're not allowed to have food and drink in the testing area. That's like one of the listed rules. I used to work at a flight school that was also a cat's testing center. And uh, that is explicitly outlined in the CATS system. 
Can't do it. Okay. Alright, that makes sense. So uh, they were just like, yeah, you can have the answers written on the candies. And I'm like, no. I think, do you want to inspect them before I go in? That's dumb. They have the no food and drink policy because they don't want you damaging a computer. <laughs> Just you wait, Free. A smart belt is coming. Oh, wait, you can get those at, like, um, uh, Hot Topic. The belt that has, like, the big LED panel that you program. <laughs> I'm sure you can. People go in there wearing, like, a big flavor play block. <laughs> as soon as you, press, you press a button and just, like, look down, like, oh, yeah, no, it's, uh, yeah, I gotta call you. <laughs> so basically to pass a 107 you need Mintos and a bell. <laughs> Dang, that, tr that transmitter hood with a big old Peter the Penetrator. <laughs> I was just thinking about that for back in the day, steals Peter the Penetrator mod. Right now the names are like... like... <laughs> transmitter thingy, but he was wearing flip-flops. <laughs> you gotta protect what's important. Yeah, I, I don't like my toes either. <laughs> Vampire FPV, Old Gravy Leg came to town, and Bot Grinder, and Bot Grinder gets lost. Hmm. <laughs> ah, where's my key? Mouse. Gotta unlock the Sony again. Dude, metal always reminds me of college. <laughs> Oh yeah, it, I was thinking it sounded a lot like Hatebreed, but I don't remember this Hatebreed song. This must have come out like post 2002 or 3. <laughs> Is it old? All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna look up the age of it. Meridians of longitude are half circles connecting the two poles, correct? Uh, longitude is yes through the two poles. Latitude is north and south. You can think of it as a altitude. Latitude, kind of like altitude above the equator. That was how I finally memorized that. Oh, okay. Or it's a long way across the ocean. Longitude. <laughs> Yeah, that's how I did it. Mm -hmm. 
That's actually a great way to remember it, guys. Thanks. Yeah, also, latitude is a ladder. Like, all of your uh, lines of latitude don't pass through the same point. They're completely parallel, whereas lines of longitude do converge at the poles. Thank you. I, I tried. My thing wasn't working to tag it. And uh, I knew it had to be after my hate breed days. <laughs> I do like me some hate breed though. Mm hmm. I used to. I, I've been to several hate breed shows, and, uh, you know, I'm probably n not the most respectful for uh, doing it, but I totally drank at the show and got lots of nasty looks. If you don't know, Hate Breed is a straight edge band, meaning no drugs, no alcohol, no, no nothing. Whatever. Ha are there any straight edge like anymore? Is that still a thing, or is that all over? Oh yeah, no, it's still it, it's it's bigger than it ever was. It's oh it's, yeah. Oh, here's Bach Grinder Loft. This is the KBR <laughs> of him being. Ah. Uh. I was trying to show him because um, Davidge handed me like one of the the ground like the the screens, so I was like, "Oh, hey, no, here you are, you're right here." And I was, but he had his goggles on; he couldn't see. <laughs> I was trying to show him the same the same shit that he had in the goggles. That's funny. Super deluxe. I did a thing. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm out of beer. I'll be right back. Yeah, the pits were rough at uh, hardcore shows for sure. I mean... To be fair, Hate Breed is the only thing hateful in all of their music is the name. Uh, they are some pretty inclusive dudes that sing about family and shit. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> oh yeah, I remember some Soulfly. What was that? Quilombo! <laughs> Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you want to talk dirty looks, I tried to buy uh, Carl Beekner for a <laughs> it, if you, Do you know uh, Poison the Well? Um, oh, dude. Ner Come on, Nerdy's the best song. It is the best song. If you go and do a Google image search for Poison the Well, in, in fact, I'm going to do it in a second and show you guys. There's a picture of them, and one of them has a red Deftones shirt with a white pony on it. That is my red Deftones shirt at the show. Uh, they were running their own merch table, and uh, I forget the dude's name. The guitarist was like, hey, cool-ass shirt. You want to trade for a, a Poison the Well shirt? I was like, hell yeah. And so we like traded shirts, and he dedicated half the set to me. <laughs> <laughs> that, that dude, that dude guitar. Yeah, that's uh, my Deftones uh, white pony shirt. Yeah, I bought merch from you. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah. Dang, some biking metal shows. You like you some Luca Torilli? Some uh, Legends of Steel? <laughs> Dude, I love some like 
I, I'm more was more into fantasy metal for my uh, days. <laughs> what like Cradle of Filth stuff like that? No, like Iron Maiden, uh, Ingve Malmsteen, uh, yeah, Luca Turilli. Uh, <laughs> I'm very lost right now. <laughs> That's probably for the best. Like, come on, a Luca Turilli song that has a dueling guitar and harpsichord solo. Like, how fucking sick is that? There you go, Ethan. You found the uh, the 107 stream. That is awesome. I will see you this Thursday. We'll be doing another live stream. Uh, if now that you've signed up for the 107 level on Patreon, you should be able to see all the posts. There's a post on there that's got a Dropbox links to all the files, all the presentations, as well as the full text from my. Uh, nighttime waiver application. I love some Run the Jewels too. What up? Uh, I just saw that. So, are you a, a King Diamond fan? I can't say that I am. I'm not even familiar. <laughs> yeah, you, might, you might like him. But I want to listen to some uh, Run the Jewels now. <laughs> Dude, you, you want to hear a funny story? All right, you know what? This is stingy story time. I'm just going to like pause it for a second. Uh, and I got to get uh, to, to properly tell this story. I'm going to need to open up Spotify so that for those of you that don't know this song that I'm about to reference. So uh, when I was an airline pilot, a lot of times you get stuck at the airport and uh, on a break, you know, a couple of hours, whatever. And oh, God. Okay. I'm not even signed in. Um, it, get stuck at the airport for a couple of hours with nothing to do. And I was stuck at uh, Newark Airport for, uh, how long was that? I was three or four hours, it doesn't matter. Uh, the point is that I, um, there we go. Um, yes, I started shopping for a Bluetooth speaker. Like if you've ever been to one of the airports where they got all the different technology and cool stuff. And this was like, it, the first Bluetooth speakers were just a thing. Like I'd had a jam box, a jawbone jam box was my first one. And, um, so I had, uh, sorry, I can't talk and type and do all the things at the same time. So I was looking for a replacement for that and looking at some of the bigger ones. And, um, I went and I was talking to this guy, very nice guy, uh, black fella. <laughs> at the uh god that's so racist but i feel like it helps clarify because it's just inner awkwardness and i had this huge playlist with all these like metal songs and acoustic and hip-hop and like you name it and i'm there in my uniform at the airport and i'm talking to the guy about like what speaker's best and he's like well here you want to try this one just pair your phone up to it and so i pair my phone to it and i just hit like shuffle on my current playlist that i was listening to and this is what came on full blast this is pre uh this is Killer Mike from Run the Jewels, but it's pre-Run the Jewels days. And <laughs> like, dude, it's I it's not doing it justice. It was so loud. Like I turned so bright red, he turned so bright red. We all like I was just like, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> oh my god like there's so many people in like the fpv scene that have that are into like the best like rap and hip-hop and stuff like from the good <laughs> okay i think swift fox was up next we definitely did the super deluxe uh swift fox go for it yeah we hadn't done this one I like to think that I got pretty good taste in music. I listen to a wide variety of uh, everything from super mainstream to super niche to international. Like, what best describes visual line of sight? Your eyeballs. <laughs> I mean, I feel like a visual line of sight describes visual line of sight, but what are your possible answers? 
thing. Yeah, that's what I. That's the exact same thing I'm thinking. And I got this wrong on the test because all the ones they give you are like they could be right because they all say visual line of sight, right? Mm -hmm. Here they are, anyways. Any visual contact with a remotely piloted aircraft sufficient to maintain control? That's the one I picked. Visual contact with a remotely piloted aircraft unaided sufficient to keep control. Visual contact with a remotely piloted aircraft unaided sufficient to keep control sufficient for detecting and avoid other aircraft. Visual contact with a remotely piloted aircraft unaided sufficient to keep control sufficient for detecting and avoid other aircraft or objects. That is going to, you're going to need to go to your regulations because I guarantee you that they have a very specific definition for visual line of sight that is above and beyond what the 107 regulations state. Um, yeah, Because that's just way more person, specific. Yeah, when you guys said you had to go in person, I was kind of shocked. We do have to go in person for the advanced afterwards, but mm -hmm. it's for like an in-flight review, but for the basic operations, it's just done online. Hmm. We don't trust nobody here in the States. I can tell. <laughs> oh, try again, FPV. Did you sneak in here? <laughs> if you don't know, David Graves, good dude. Try again, FPV. What you think Tool's new album is a disappointment? That's disappointing. I uh, I dug the new album. I'm just not a Tool fan. But it, it's not Tool's fault. It's not his fault. That was a killer mic track, Artemis Prime, that I uh, pulled up. <laughs> Uh, I did. Yeah, uh, Killer Mike, Big Beast is the name of the track. Hard cough, gee shit, homie, I don't. Mm -mm. <laughs> yeah, it's lots of choice words. And if you if you ever want to see like one of the gnarliest hip hop music videos, just pull that up on YouTube and watch the full on video. Like it's a cross between gangster, like hip hop video, gangster movie and horror movie. Like it changes on genres so much. Like there's, there's blood and gore and guts and yeah, it's amazing. It's an absolute, it might be one of my favorite music videos of all time. He's a brilliant dude too. Have you seen him on like any uh, like news channel things? Like he's been on a couple of them, and he just he knows about the world. Yeah, he's a very smart guy. He's got his own. Uh, I think he's got like a I Netflix show or something. With, uh, Bernie Sanders back in sixteen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a very uh, well educated. Uh, he does Atlanta proud. Let's put it that way. I'm glad that he's an Atlanta guy. LP is not too bad himself. He's I love LP too. Like uh, I was an LP fan way before uh, any of this as well. Like I was big into. Um, uh, oh my God! I'm drawing a blank. Uh, Aesop Rock. Uh, Mr. Liff, like the definitive Jux records, all of those guys. Like I used to go and watch, uh, go to a lot of those shows back in the day. And Every and time any uh, rhyme sayers came up here, like I was definitely going. Yeah, LP was on. Uh, I think didn't LP own Definitive Jux, or am I wrong in that? I think that he might have owned that label. I'm. Not, I'll look it up right now for you. Anyways, doesn't matter. Uh, all right, the bridge in my way from Monkey FPV. Uh oh, we got that super timely 24-hour challenge. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, I think he did too, Artemis. Um, like the definitive Jux days. There's so many uh, good people around. Like, I really miss Mr. Liff. Aesop Rock is still out there making killer tracks. He just had another album drop recently that I really liked.
perch maybe <laughs> yep <laughs> nice let's be clear this is not the US not that it matters still does this here <laughs> Yeah, who is the artist here? It, you know what it reminds me of is uh, Gabrielle E. Uh, Rodrigo E. Gabriella. Do you know who that is? Is is that who this is, or is this somebody else? Gotcha. Yeah, and uh, Death Drops was co-founded by LD. Who else co-founded it then? Does it say? Uh, Amici Uzo. Yeah, I don't know who that is. But then it's saying on the side, it's saying that Jamie, yeah, so yeah, Jamie, that's all Jamie. All right, I don't know how the hell Amici something, hmm. and they did it in New York. Yeah, I met LP way back in the day, like years and years before uh, Run the Jewels at a show with him and Aesop Rock and a couple other guys. I've met Aesop. He's a trip. I've He's never... A brilliant dude. Yeah, I've never met him. He didn't uh, come out. He was too big. Like, he was the headliner. I agree, uh, the Tom John, Rodrigo and Gabriella are freaking awesome. Ah, that's who it is, Luca Stricke Noli. I just butchered his name, but it's all right. <laughs> explosions in the sky and like all those like all the alright what do we got next we got uh, I'm going to pull it up before I say who the pilot name is uh, oh yeah Airviews video that's right you did tell me this was coming shredding with formula drift car racers Dirk Stalton uh, I don't see your Okay, hang on a second. I'm just going to have to... There, Amphibious. Sorry, I'm, I'm used to looking for where the information is on YouTube. It's angry. Oh yeah, I love the uh, the motor noise that you get when you're chasing these loud ass cars. Yeah, I noticed that you can hear the cars really clearly. That's the actual GoPro audio. Yeah, well, because they're loud as fuck. <laughs> they're That's louder sweet. than than the uh, than your um, prop noise is. Like you can still hear the prop noise, but it has to tune down the gain on the audio uh, so far that you can hear it. Yeah. So do you guys have the GoPro in only, or is it uh, stereo only, or is it auto? Uh, I have mine in auto. Oh, okay. 
All right, we got indoor winter racing from Saul FPV. Dang. Bump, bump, dump, 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 dump. Now I got like red hot chili pepper stuck in my head. <laughs> and now I want to figure out like. I, I don't think that I could play the what he was playing, but I bet you I could get a, a simpler version finger style down to noodle on the guitar. Now I want to do it. Yes, he is, Artemis. <laughs> I probably can figure it out. Jesus. I knew somebody was going to say it. <laughs> I've got a pretty good ear for music. I, you know, I've been playing musical instruments since like middle school and I can usually figure out uh, guitar parts and whatnot. Um, unless it's like super obscure chords and stuff that they're using. Uh, I might have a little trouble. Anyways, uh, up next, we got After Work Rip, uh, 1025, from Just Josh FPV. I remember one time I was in one of these streams, and you opened the submissions back up once. You're not doing that again for this one? Uh, we have already opened it up a second time, and I got uh, a lot of videos. We're almost at 10 o'clock, which... Uh, ah. If we're running all the way to 10, I will not open it again. So, where's my cursor? I gotta I show sure I Artemis. <laughs> I need to, like, I guess I hate that I have to click show on everyone, but I have had some messages that are not so friendly that I just leave hidden. So, uh, whenever you guys drop dirty words, uh, I have to approve it. I mean, hell, somebody just said killers. Or a killer track, and that had to get approved. Oh yeah! Uh, anytime that it's, I'm talking standard tuning songs only. Uh, it, once they get into the weird open tunings, like uh, what's the guy that I really like? Uh, the Pines, Howard, uh, Ben Howard. If you ever listen to Ben Howard freaking amazing guitarist i love his stuff so much but he uses all these open tunings uh like i can't figure out any of his stuff yeah Good calming advice. If you got 40 hours in the sim, you're probably going to be all right. Just go fly parks with a lot of grass uh, to get used to the differences. Because there's definitely differences from the sim to real world, but it's not a huge drastic thing. You shouldn't be struggling to keep it in the air. You're just going to be struggling on your judgment and thinking you've made a gap when you might not have, etc. What would the radio be called that I need to buy to talk to air traffic control on the, from uh, the aviation radio? Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, they call it like an aviation band or something. Mm, let's see. Does anyone have links to one of these things? I'm literally uh, just Googling aviation band radio and boom. Sporty's Pilot Shop, first thing. 200 bucks for a handheld oh There's... yeah I'll get that one then. <laughs> uh, I want to say like I've got a Baofeng which is a cheap Chinese ham radio I wonder if it's capable of... I don't think that it's it works on like uh, 400 megahertz I don't think that it reaches the aviation bands but you can get a Baofeng for like 40 bucks. I bet Baofeng makes an aviation band that is uh, that cheap. Ba All right, I see B one of those here. I'll go take a look at it. B-A-O-F-E-N-G. 
What up, Dr. Klein? <laughs> bowel thing. Yes, a bowel thing. Let me see. Let's see if I can find... Uh... Oh, look. It was like the third suggested down. Bow thing. Uh, aviation. Like this one. Yeah, that's not the aviation band. Aviation is like 118 to 135, give or take. Uh, but I bet they make one that is, I just can't be Googling the whole thing right now. All right, uh, let's see. So up next, we got yep. another one from Free here. Flying at the park. Oh, wait. Is this some uh, real steady action or is this uh, Hero 8 uh, stabilization with boost? I haven't even messed with that yet. Like, I didn't even, re I didn't even realize it was an option until I was like, oh, you just can't use that with like 120 frames. Uh, aviation is not AM actually. Uh, AM is. It, yeah, it's not AM. <laughs> I don't want to get into an explanation of the difference between amplification modulation and frequency modulation, but it is definitely an FM band. Actually, you can have AM or FM on any band, uh, just to be clear. That's just deter. That's a uh, speaking of how you encode the signal. Stingy, which do you like better, the Hero 7 Black or the Hero 8 Black? Uh, Hero 8 Black because uh, better stabilization. Uh, more options uh, for result. You know, the biggest thing that I like more about the Hero 8 is the higher bit rate. Instead of just doing the 70, 60 megabits per second, it does a full 100 megabit per second, which you get more detail and more, uh, just more information for every second of footage. And I can definitely tell a difference when color grading it. Like I have more latitude. It's it's still not on par with my Sony here, but it is much better than the older GoPros. Um, the stabilization's also better. You've got the uh, stabilization with boost, which is like a uh, real steady light that's baked into the camera. Um, yeah, just lots of uh, nice features for it. Is it just as durable as is the Hero 7 or is it I would say it's just as durable. I've actually, I'm pretty impressed with the the fact that it doesn't shut off every time that you let it pop in the center. Yeah, I agree. This video is sick, Marcos. And thank you for the agreement there on the bit right there, Artemis. One thing that sucks about it is the damn battery door blows off every time. Yeah, I agree. I would recommend uh, possibly running a piece of tape on that battery door. I'm going to get a beer. Hang on. I, yeah, that's not a horrible idea, Monkey. I've thought about uh, altering. 
I don't know. So when I first got the Hero 8, I did have a couple instances where the door ejected on hard crashes. And I was like, oh no, this is going to be a problem. We're going to have to redo the GoPro mount so that it doesn't do allow for that. But uh, I literally haven't had it happen since the first day of flying it. So I don't think it's something I'm going to run into that often. <laughs> okay. Uh, what am I doing next? I got to get another video. <laughs> All right, we just finished free. We've got CWO is up next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten more videos. So we're just past the halfway point. Yeah, we're, <laughs> and that took like almost an hour. So we're definitely not opening it up for another window. It's probably going to be like 11 o'clock by the time we get through all of these as it is. Oh, dang. Okay, Cody. Cody, I'm glad that you're here tonight. I did not... Okay, I did forget a little bit. When we were messaging back and forth. So let me just uh, preface this. Uh, this video, I know this video. It is not a mini quad, in fact. You know, I'm not going to say anything else. I'm just going to play it, and then I will apologize to Cody via DMs later. So you guys uh, tell me what you think of this. Yeah, and I feel like I would butcher your last name, Cody. <laughs> it's not even a wing. It is a, uh, like, if you ever see the 3D planes, like the little foamies that the 3D pilots practice on. Um, yeah, it's a... It's a little 3D plane. Uh, I want one. That's crazy. So, and it's just rocking uh, the Caddx Turtle or something similar. <laughs> and it, it flies slow enough that you can, you know, fly proximity uh, and 3D and all of this stuff. Hmm. All right, Jake. Thank you for the info. I could have sworn the airband was FM, not AM. But, you know, I'll take your word for it. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with $2. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, you're right. Mm hmm I mean, actually, that kind of makes sense because, like, the traffic pattern and all that stuff, like, how far you are away from where, like, the transmitter is. I mean, AM seems like it's more fitting. If it was FM, it would probably be a lot longer, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Did I, I make, did I make any sense at all with what I was saying? You do make sense. Uh, I don't know. I My RF theory is like pretty decent, but it's not like, you know, absolute solid. So I don't want to, I don't want to talk out my butt and have other people correcting me in the comments. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. It's all right. I'll talk up my butt for you. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I need to follow up with you, Cody, and get on a call. When you were texting me about the call, it was like Thanksgiving holiday. I was home with my parents, and then it just slipped my mind by the time I got back home. So shoot me a... Yeah, let's uh, let's get on them messages. Mm -mm 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 -mm. And up next, we got Rusty Signal FPV, Power Loop Everything. Uh-oh. Rusty signal. I know that there's going to be some sketchy shit, isn't it? <laughs> mm, I think I know this spot. Or maybe not. No. If you know the spot when I come down there, you get a... Uh forward be to that direction. 
I, I think I may know that school. I don't know this one. I know ones that are similar to this one, but I don't know that second one. I need to see more of this one to know whether it's what, I don't think this is what I'm thinking it is actually. Is this Atlanta, Rusty? I know you fly Atlanta. I'm just not 100% on whether or not you live here or if you just traveled here. <laughs> oh wait, I want to hit that hole. That's a sick spot. Yeah. Oh my goodness, frozen again. Is there a firmware update or something for it to make it not do that? I just noticed tonight that uh, every time it freezes, I get a little notification that the encoding has overloaded. So it's a it's an encoding problem kicking the camera offline. Uh, that's odd. Yeah, it is odd. I agree. Oh, <laughs> all right. Uh, what do we got next? Up next is outer limit of all, or no, it's of all things tube. Your Discord and your YouTube are different. It throws me off. Uh, oh, yeah. dang. The risky biscuits with the water. <laughs> who is this again I, I feel like i've seen this uh this was of all things tube was the uh youtube channel Yeah, uh, conformal coating is pretty good for waterproofing, but I will say that it's not. Don't get over cocky with it. <laughs> Dude, you should have what I did today with conformal coating in the foot. It's ridiculous. I dunked it in the pool. At, did, were you able to plug right back in and go right away? I, I didn't even plug. Oh, you just pulled it out and then took back off? Yeah, the, 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 the ESCs, will, some of them wouldn't go at the beginning, but then I just kept going at it and it'll take off eventually. Diving, and I did it five times in a row. Yeah, that was my experience with the conformal coating was I still couldn't get it to be like straight up, dunk it in the water, pull it out and go fly uh, consistently. It always was much better if I gave it like a day to dry off. But even with with no conformal coating, you throw a quad in the water, pull it out, rinse it with clean water, and then hit it with a hair dryer, it'll be good to go again. Uh, almost like I'd say 95% of the time. Occasionally you'll kill something. Yeah, I use the one that I tried to waterproof the hardest. I did uh, conformal coating on everything except for connectors and then like your USB plug and stuff. I did uh, Corrosion X because you can use Corrosion X and still plug stuff in. Right. Yeah. Good night. Thanks for coming. Good night. <laughs> Good night. 
I have never had an issue with water. Like, I fly all winter up in the northeast in the snow. Like, flying in snowstorms, and it just... If the thing gets soaked, just put it on the, you know, defroster in the car for, like, 20 minutes. What's up? Yeah. Holy shit, I got it back in. <laughs> the Tom John. It, he's saying, "Who is the disembodied voice?" <laughs> Who wants <laughs> advice on flying in the Northeast? Um, uh, don't complain about the cold and fly in the snow and go <laughs> back. <laughs> All right, we got Chris Quad up next with wait I didn't even catch the name of it. Drone finds shipwreck and dodges a freight train. Yeah, apologies, I disappeared on y'all for a second because the battery in my camera died. Uh, and hopefully, let's see how much battery percentage this other one has. It was not fully charged. Uh, it's got forty percent. It ought to, that ought to be plenty to get us through the stream. Hmm. Dude, <laughs> MG Chemicals silicone modified conformal coating. I made, uh, like, after my uh, waterproofing a drone video, that was my most consistent performing Amazon affiliate link forever. It was like a guaranteed $7 a month for like two years. <laughs> uh. Conformal coding for the first time, but I'm still worried about putting it on. They said something about you can't put it on top of the. On top of the what? You cut out. On the gyro itself. You can put it on the gyro. I mean, okay. I put it on a gyro and didn't have an issue from it. Yeah, you just don't want to put it on the camera sensor or the uh, like anything that's getting plugged in. Like, yeah. Uh, like Stingy or with the USB. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that, that I, I don't know about. I know they have an another uh, sort of conform coding thing for that, but that doesn't allow uh, it to stop the thing. Yeah, I'm not familiar with any conformal coding that's going to pass through electricity. Um, Conformal coating is basically just like a nail polish, uh, like a hard coating. The, uh, um, what's the other stuff? I'm drawing a blank. You just mentioned it, monkey. What is it? Cor what, Corrosion X? Yeah, Corrosion X. Dang, was that a bird you almost hit? <laughs> uh, corrosion X uh, is like, it's messy stuff. Don't spray it all over the place. Oh my God. Uh, Yeah, I use a brush too. If you go back to my old videos where I did the waterproofing, like the first one that I did, I sprayed conformal co or the cor yes corrosion X on everything, just sprayed it down, and that was like the nastiest quad because it stays like this goopy, nasty liquid forever. And so, <clears throat> you crash in grass or something, it just starts picking up dirt and dust and all sorts of stuff, and it just builds up a nasty layer on everything. <clears throat> And it sucks to solder because it, it, you're right, it never dries. And then all of a sudden you're like, fuck, I got to put new ESC on. <clears throat> and you're just breathing caustic shit. Mm hmm. <clears throat> all right. Uh, up next, we got Artemis Prime with Home Atlanta Banger. Oh, shit. I, I'm going to fix that. Let me just do this. Mm -hmm. 
Did you ever get back to making guitars, Artemis? I know you sent me some uh, pictures of some really pretty builds you did. <laughs> Caustic shit, another 90s metal band, Mad Max says. That's awesome. I'm a yeah. fan. Don't use liquid electrical tape. That is... I, I used, when I first started making drones, I would liquid electrical tape my PDB every time. It's a, That's an awful idea. It's just a pain in the ass and not effective. Oh, the good old days. Mm, nice. Glad to hear it, Artemis. I do use hot, I use hot glue. Uh, it's been a minute since I've had a need, but if I do have a need, I will. I'm not above hot gluing a connector on so it quits popping off and ca crashes. <laughs> the reason I like hot glue for that instead of anything else is it's very temporary, so it'll hold the plug in place, but then if you need to make a repair where you gotta pull it out, you just peel the hot glue off and uh, you're good to go. <laughs> My quads are all 12% hot glue. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's phenomenal. <laughs> I remember when I started getting into Tiny Whoops and like uh, the first time I met Charlie from Alien Whoop. He was like, here, I built you something. And I'm like, oh, awesome. He's like, I even put your camera angle and I hot glued the camera there. And he hot glued it at like 80 degrees up tilt. <laughs> like, if you don't like it, don't worry. It'll it'll heat up plenty. And then you can just move it wherever you want. <laughs> it, it, it never did. So I wound up getting stuck with 80 degree up tilt. And just, that's how I flew for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Uh, Mike, Mike, I see this car. <laughs> Alright, we got more. No, we just got a logo. I'm bailing on your logo, homie. <laughs> Alright, uh, wait, how many more we got? One, two, three, four, five. Five more. Pilot in command is up next. I don't know why it's not doing the full format for all of these videos. Uh, Bando flow. You know what my favorite FPV find recently was? Uh, I mean, I'm already on my second pack, so it's not that recent. Uh, where is it? Okay, well, I have misplaced it. I don't know. Misplaced isn't the right word. My desk is just too messy to locate it currently. Seriously? Huh. Okay, well. Is it is it currently in use? And you, that's why you can't find it? No, but it's uh, the double-sided sticky tape that are the little strips, not the rolls. Have you seen this stuff? It comes, no, it's it's more expensive to buy it this way, but because it's covered on both sides, you don't have to pack a whole roll in your bag. And uh, I just take like a couple strips and keep it in the bag. Um, it's like 20 bucks for a whole box. And then, you know, you, as you cut it down, you just have smaller and smaller pieces. Oh, no 
shit. Mm -hmm. That's definitely better than having like a one foot diameter roll. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, like a roll that's that big around. It comes in like, uh, it's already pre-cut on the tape itself and the red side, but the white side is solid uh, with two of these wide and then just a whole stack of them. But I can't find my little box of them. Uh, is it is it the same thickness and like the same stickiness as... Yeah, it's, it's, it's the black stuff. It's the good outdoor tape. The black kind, not the gray. Oh, hell yeah. What the hell? Where's the whole box? Yeah, I don't know what I've done with the whole box of it. You know what I actually really like and I wish you could, it was like commercially available is, you know the stuff that comes with the uh, TBS VTXs, the double stick tape, and they give you like a little size Yes, of the it thermal tape. Stick here. Yes, like mm -hmm. I need to find exactly what they use because that stuff is awesome. I bet I can find it right here. Uh, let's see, got in this. Your, in your office or? No, on Amazon. Or something. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like looking around at your oh, like, oh, dude, I got a whole, I got a shit ton of. Mm. That's different, but similar. Because what it is is it's a thermal double sided sticky tape. Exactly. Uh, it, it like it wants to. It's almost like a peltier. Uh, it it's got like it wants the um the the hot side to be on one side, yeah. And that's what helps. This is what I found just real quick from uh, thermal double sided sticky tape search. Uh, I bet it would work really well. I'd have to try it before I endorsed it. Anyways. Mm. Ba -ba -dun 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 -dun. All right, uh, that was pilot in command. So we got big oily guy up with another video. Set in stone. Uh, Spudnik, I probably, I don't know. Uh, I do like making videos a lot, but I only, I've got to be stoked on it. Like I've been having a trouble getting excited about what I've been making lately. And that's why I haven't been making a ton of videos. Dang, that was a nice gap. That's a good point, Mad Max. Thermal could be insulating or conducting. Uh, so you want thermal conductive tape. I would recommend thermal conductive tape because you're going to be taping it to your frame and you want it to dissipate that heat from the VTX. Yeah, I want to use that for like my uh, my ESCs, stuff like that. So that was my thought, but I don't have enough of it because I'm not going to buy a bunch of VTXs just to use it for ESCs. <laughs> That's funny. Oh no, <laughs> that ended better than I thought. Once he started bouncing around, I thought that was gonna go down bad.
Dude, that's so sketchy spot. Like you bounce off that, you're so much water down at the base. Nasty water too. That I would not want to be fishing around for a quad in. What is my most trusty onboard camera these days? Um, I would say either the Micro Eagle or the uh, Run from Runcam or the Phoenix. Uh, I kind of go back and forth. Really, it's the it's the same lens, the same uh, sensor, just different uh, default settings are built onto them. But uh, it, it's basically the same camera. I have tried the uh, the Foxier Predator Micro, and I am uh, I'm not a fan. It's the main reason I'm not a fan is because they use the uh, the shitty size lens. I think it's like an M9 lens or something like that. I forget exactly uh, the size, but it's the the shitty little micro lens. Whereas the those two run cams I mentioned use the full size lens. Um, yeah. Do I notice it? I'm assuming that you're talking about the difference between the Eagle and the uh, Phoenix. And uh, I do not notice a huge difference. Uh, mostly it would be in terms of the color on the two. Uh, but they're pretty damn similar. I feel like we watched this exact video. Is this a double post? Oh my goodness, the smoke from blowing that candle out is intense. I can't hardly breathe. Uh, uh, yes, it is a double post. Okay. <laughs> Kacha, <Gotcha>, bitch. <laughs> Phantom FPV trailer trash. Yeah, I was really disappointed because uh, looking at the latency numbers from uh, Oscar Liang's testing, I was really excited about the Predator, uh, and it did not. I could it. I felt no difference in the latency on it, um, and the uh, the image quality was just like I. I couldn't see fine details like scraggle and wires and stuff like I can in the Eagles and even the run camp Swifts. I just put that, put that uh, predator on uh, uh, now more I mean, it, don't get me wrong. I, me saying it is not like saying it's complete trash. Like it's very functional. I, when I flew it, I didn't immediately rip my quad apart and take it out. I was just like, huh, I don't like that as much. And I flew it for a month or three until I had to do another repair. But the next time I had the quad apart, I did put a different camera back in. Um, it's just not my favorite. It's I wonder if it's got something to do with, uh, like, it's got really good low light ability. So I wonder if they sacrifice. It's, the it's, it's not, it's not the low light uh, or latency. Are you, oh, are you talking about the Eagle? No, I'm talking about the V4 Predator. Like I, I love mine. I, for me. Okay. Are you using the mini or the micro? The mini. I think that's it because the mini uses the full size lens. The micro uses the teeny tiny lens. And I, I am like 90% sure that the reason that I hate the micro predator is because of that shitty, shitty little teeny tiny lens. Oh, okay. You broke up when you said that. <laughs> Wait, did you get what I said or no? Yeah, no, when you originally said it, you broke up. You didn't say what size. You just said Predator, and then I didn't hear anything after that. 
Yeah, yeah. It's because I don't like that little lens. And to be fair, like, there's a, a couple of run cam micro cams that I have used that have the small lens and I have the same issue. It's, it's something like it doesn't have the fidelity, uh, like it gets really pixelated uh, really early. I don't know how to explain it, but it just looks way more pixelated. It looked like if you look at a tiny whoop uh, DVR or something equivalent, it looks like crap because it's got the teeny tiny uh, lens. It doesn't have to do with the sensor. If it's got the same s sensors as a lot of the other cameras, it's just a teeny tiny uh, lens. Yes, glass matters. Hence why I look so awesome right now is because I have this huge honking piece of glass that's like that big around and like that long on the camera. <laughs> like glass plays a huge role in your uh, image quality. All right, uh, last one from Funk FPV Monument Circle. Squeezing in last second and hanging around till the end of the stream to catch it. Mad props, fist bump. The one thing that did bother me though right away about the micro was the fact that the mount it was difficult to keep it in position right now. Mm. Yeah, the one point mount, like the one screw mount. No, I, I I bought the the mount that turns it into a full size, but it's just it still doesn't hold it. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why they say date the camera, marry the glass. Hmm. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for that love button smash. <laughs> Damn it, camera is frozen again. And divorce the uh, camera interface. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've got multiple edits that are up, Tom John, where I uh, cut from the music of the Bluetooth speaker directly into the music playing over the track when I fly, or it that exposes at the end of the flight that what you're listening to is lined up with what I was listening to. I don't usually make a big deal out of it because it doesn't always uh, work that well, but when it does, it's cool. <laughs> Have you had any issue flying with a Bluetooth speaker? Like what? Like, like interfer uh, control link interference? Never had a problem with the control link. I've had a problem with the range that my phone had to be to specific Bluetooth speakers. Um, the one in particular that like I just had it had to be within six feet whenever we were flying two four back in the day. Uh, but the newer ones don't seem to have a problem. Most Bluetooth speakers don't have much of a problem. There was one, yeah, like what you're saying, it, it was a couple of years ago. It was two years ago, I want to say. Uh -huh. uh, it was like blowing us out. We, no, nobody was flying Crossfire at that time. Like, at least, like, nobody at my spot was. Uh, <laughs> it was terrible because we'd get out maybe like 100 feet and the quad would just drop or it would like just go to the moon. Wow. That's rough. Yeah, there were a lot of uh, walks of shame that day. <laughs> Stop listening to that Bluetooth speed. Midwest Rob uh, totally just disappeared. Uh, he was kind of before my day on the YouTubes. Uh, if you guys, most of you have no idea who Midwest Rob is. He was an FPV pilot back in the days, of, like the 400 size, like. What we fly are closer to the 250 size. We got away from uh, measuring the quads and motor to motor distance. Uh, but yeah, and got more into the prop size as a determining factor. Uh, but he uh, was like totally sketched out by the whole FAA involvement and is like, uh, uh, from what I understand, like uh, Cody, Code Red is friends with him and uh, said that like he just didn't like he didn't want to be a personality and he kind of got out of it. So dang. 
All right, guys. Well, I appreciate you sticking around to the end of this uh, end of the stream. If you are interested, please go check out the Patreon down below. We got the Part 107 course going live right now, uh, where you can come and join us on the weekly streams this Thursday. Going to be doing another uh, 107 stream. You'll get access to all of the past streams as well as the weekly stream, where you can come in and ask your own questions, uh, as well as you know assistance on getting your nighttime waiver. I'll all sorts of cool stuff so uh or if you just want to support me go hook it up on the pa patreon my goal was to get uh, i was thinking about this tonight uh my goal was to get to 100 patrons and then give away the torval backpack but like i've been hung at the 50 to 60 and like bouncing around there for weeks now so i think i'm gonna give it one more week and then i'm saying it right now this coming Sunday, I am going to pick live on stream the winner of the Torval backpack, regardless of how many patrons I have, because I want to give that give, do that giveaway and be done with it and then like move on. So if you're interested in winning a Torval Pit Stop Pro backpack, uh, sign up on Patreon down below. It's two bucks a month for the minimum sign up. <laughs> Just give the bag to Chris Quad. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Uh, and what other things to plug? Anything else? I still have two builds that need to be sold and given away. I have two builds that need to get done, to be quite honest. I might try to build those up this week and get some pictures posted on Instagram and see if I can't get those moved out of here. Uh, but anything else? No, I think that's going to do it. Thank you for coming and checking it out. And I am going to bounce out. We're in the stream right now. We'll catch you all next week. Hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications so you don't miss a future stream or video. And we'll catch you all next time. Bye.